And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League, the group stage, match day one action. It is Club Rouge facing Manchester City. Yes, cheers, Derek. Well, what an occasion it is for this club and its supporters. These are the games that they dream of. No doubt in there, the underdogs. If they can frustrate their opponents, stay in the game up until half-time, you just never know. Hopefully we get a great cup tie and maybe even a massive surprise. And this is how the hosts will begin the game today. Well, it's a 4-3-3 formation with a centre forward and two wingers. So it's important that the midfield players give support to the striker whenever the ball goes wide. They can't allow him to be isolated. Introducing the starting players for Manchester City. Emerson begins in goal. Joao Cancelo starts with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Kevin De Bruyne plays alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. It's the opening match day. Champions League group stage match day one underway. Challenge from Gundogan. <laughs> oh, Manchester City one man. goal man. One goal in Dupa Champions League. Okay? No? You see? You see this? One goal already for so Dupa Champions League. Cho! Papa Chowau! Manchester City! for the right moment for that final pass well I think a classic commentator's curse just then couldn't make the ideal pass De Bruyne and it might be and it goes two goals in rapid fire fashion and looking very comfortable here Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. So, 2-0 now. The pass, a good one. No allow. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. And do they mean business on this occasion? Manaka. 
players waiting in the center. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Ruben Diaz. The ball with Rodri. Ferran Torres. Grealish. Gundogan. Very comfortable when in possession. But then the commentator's curse comes into play. Counter attacking, very much an option. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Grealish, really getting stuck in. Jack Hendry. Here's former. Eder Balanta. Noah Lang. Showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up. But just like that, possession changes hands. Well, there you can see City haven't been able to control possession. But that won't bother them because when they win it in deep areas, they've got forward with pace and with numbers. It's been a great counter-attacking display. Rude former. Eder Balanta. De Kate Delare. Can he get one back? He can! He's given his team a real opportunity, and momentum is with them. Well, let's look at this again. He's done superbly well to pick out a teammate here, and the finish is clinical. Isn't it cleanly beyond the keeper? That's a good goal. So there we have it, 2-1. With that, the attack fizzles out. Former. It's a weighted pass. <coughs> Played into the centre. But he must get rid of the ball. It's an effective clearance. Keeping possession of the ball with authority. Well, no stopping him. And so it is, the first half story has been written. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Yes, I think he's done quite well in the first half. He certainly looked comfortable on the ball, but he needs one or two others to start performing if they're going to get back into this game in the second 45 minutes. It's the opening match day, Champions League group stage, match day one, underway. And now Rodri. Gundogan! And a goal! An early boost for them, the first goal of the game, they're off and running. De Bruyne. And momentum is with them.
And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Gundogan. Here's Grealish. Mares. Walker now. Useful looking ball. Touched on to the woodwork. comes last man back and job done Gundogan and that pass could be troublesome and there it is the goal they wanted for security they lead by two now they can breathe that bit more easily Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise, and it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. So there it is. 3-1 the current scoreline here. Now, what can they do from here? Former. Well, City, as the stats highlight, have had most of the ball. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead. Could get even better here. Hanging on to the ball in this fashion suits them. And they really had to be on their toes defensively given the circumstances. Can they trouble the opposition this time? But quick thinking defensively. Torres. Gebreine. And Torres on the ball. Rob them. It might be perfectly set up for the counter attack, you know. Well, the pass not finding its target. Former. Vanaken. A goal! Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. Three-two it is. Who would have predicted that before a ball was kicked? Well, the final whistle soon to be sounded, but not quite yet. It's City with the lead. Stuart, how would you critique what you've seen from them? Well, it's been great entertainment, and we've seen some excellent attacking football. But overall, I think they've been the better team. They've certainly had the greater cutting edge. Now they just need to see this out in the final few moments. <coughs> single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. <laughs> On the 
on the attack in the closing phase. Beautifully disguised ball. Defended well. De Bruyne. And Torres on the ball. Riyad Mahrez. Uh. Grealish. Mahrez! A really top-notch piece of defending. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. One minute remaining. Panakin. He's given it straight to the opposition. So full time it is, and the morale boosting three points on the board to begin their European campaign. Yeah, that's a good win and a vital three points. Another win next time out, and they'll be in a great position. Well, in the final analysis, a top-level contribution from Riyad Mahrez. And how many times do we say that? Quite a lot <coughs> is the answer. Stuart, sum up for us what impressed you. Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder.